hello you gorgeous lot today we're going to be doing something slightly different as you may know from the b-roll of the opening of my previous video i cannot keep flowers alive to save my life the only plant babies that survive in this house are those that thrive on neglect and this is fine because we live in a wonderful age where we have such technological marvels as fake plants and I don't think the organic matter content of our plants and flowers should hold us back from being the green witchlings that we are. So today I am going to be making some flowery accessories that work with your plant-based destructive tendencies for all of your green witch needs. Okay, we're gonna start with the earrings because I think they're gonna be simplest. Uh, and I'm gonna make two pairs, I think. I've also found another pair of earrings that I don't really wear, but if I do decide to wear either of these again, I can just buy more earring hooks. I just wasn't that prepared for this video. <laughs> essentially consists of a length of about that long that fits into each other and is just repeated. So at this point you can see that there's like a little, almost like a little arrowhead on the end that goes into this little slot here. So if we can get that out, we'll essentially have two exactly equal pieces. The size of the leaves will correspond on each strand and then we can attach a little earring hook up here. So the nice thing about there being this little hole in the top, uh, so the nice thing about there being this little hole in the top is that all we have to do is squish the earring through the hole, and then the little earring ring is now flat in that section, which means it's going to be nice and easy for us to grab our glue gun and squidge a blob into here. And don't worry about the stringy bits, you can cut those off when they're dry. And then all that's left is to wait for it to cool down and dry. Now you can tell that it's properly cooled down because it will go kind of opaque-ish. And then once that's cool, they are pretty much done. That may be the easiest craft I've ever done. So moving on to the next pair of earrings, and the strange thing about these flowers is that they are actually scented. Like it's a pretty strong smell. When people give me a hug and go, hey you smell nice, I can say thanks, it's my earrings. Are you in need of a strong smelling flower to cover the smell of blood from the mouth sores caused by the poison you drank to lull your enemies into a false sense of security? Do you not have the patience to grow your own roses? Head to Dunhelm. Why don't they pay me to do their advertising for them? So, the <laughs> After that interlude, these earrings are just simply going to be one flower on each side, just glued or sewn onto the little earring things. And I think they're gonna be super cute. Don't be like me and try and cut something with a metal wire in it with scissors. Believe it or not, it's so much easier with the correct tool. Also, you really don't need the gallon of glue that I'm using here for a single earring hook. These looked a little bit odd when I tried them on, so I reattached the hook to the original earring and tried a different method. Again, using way too much glue.
So for the little like forehead tiara thing, uh, I've already done half of it so you can kind of see what we're going for. So all I did really was twist the stem around the metal and then at the end it had a little bit of just actual wire sticking out of it. So I coiled that wire around the edge and then put some hot glue on the end of the wire that was pointy so it wasn't gonna stab me in the head. And then also put little bits of hot glue just where like the base of each of these leaf stems touches the metal because I figured this is the easiest place to disguise the glue. All we need to do is cut another one of these bits off and then put it on the other side. If anyone I knew was feeling a bit under the weather, either like physically or mentally, I could whip up a soup for them that's got loads of like secret healing ingredients and obviously make it in a cauldron. And then bring around a lovely healing broth to them that they would eat up with some lovely home baked bread and then just feel better about the world. And I love making soup and I love eating soup. So I might just do that. I might just become a soup witch. Would anyone be interested in some soup witch recipes? Not necessarily on here, because this is kind of more a uh, more of a sewing channel. Although maybe on here, would people be interested in seeing ways to make nice, tasty, wholesome healing soups? Or if not on YouTube, I was thinking of maybe like I don't know, making like an ebook or something with some recipes in it. Because I found that I find a lot of joy going through my Pinterest feed and seeing lots of like cute witchy things. Like sort of nice green witch or house witch or you know, all the sort of the celestial stuff too. It just, it just fills me with joy and makes me believe that there's a little, little bit of magic out there. Which, you know, who doesn't want to believe in that? <laughs> So I'm gonna try and embrace a more magical lifestyle. And when I say magical, I think sitting down and doing some crafts and making little accessories out of fake flowers and just having a lovely time is kind of magical. I think those kind of small moments that make up the majority of your life, you know, not the huge big events, but the little like, you know, snuggling on the sofa with a hot chocolate and a nice book, feeling really cozy when you're looking out at the rain, feeling really absorbed in what you're doing when you're doing like crafts and stuff like that. I think that's all got its own sort of, its own sort of magic to it. And I want to try and do more of that, embrace that and like cultivate more of that feeling. And I find it really helps to look the part, you know, fake it till you make it. Hence this stuff. <laughs> Maybe a bit much of the earrings as well. my favorite flower it's the yellow I just love the yellow it makes me so happy and I know it's winter and sunflowers are more of a summery thing however I don't care I want sunflowers in my life and I think as it is I don't know if it would work super well as a headband because of how the flowers are spaced I want them like closer together so with the help of this hairband and my trusty glue gun I think we can make something pretty darn adorable
and we are done. This was so much fun. It only took me an afternoon and we've got some really cute new accessories from it. I think these are my favorites and I'm really tempted to make like 10 more pairs using different flowers. I definitely want to make a pair of earrings like this but with sunflowers so I'm gonna have to hit up some charity shops and get some earrings so that I don't completely destroy my own collection. They were all really simple to make too and I mean to be honest with most of these you could find a way to sew these on if you don't have a hot glue gun. So it's a pretty accessible craft, which is nice. And it means we can bring some winter sun into our lives. Can I put them all on at once, do you reckon? Fantastic. If you enjoyed this departure from sewing-y things and you potentially want to see more related crafts, pop a comment down. I would like to say that if this video got enough likes, I would go out like this to the supermarket, but honestly, I'm just not that brave. If this video gets enough likes, I will feel very happy. How's that for a challenge? I will see you next time for more chats, more crafts, all that good stuff. Bye.